And Fred, tonight at 5, customers continuing to show support for Tony's ice cream as the shop remains closed following several days of tense protests. This is a storyline we have been following all week long. But if you're just catching up here, this all started after a woman says that she received discriminatory service at the shop Monday night. She was then arrested for trespassing. That arrest caught on camera and was seen by thousands, and that led to protests supporting the woman, and we also saw counter-protests supporting the shop. WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner joins us now live outside the shop. What's the scene been looking like today, Brandon? Well, Vanessa, fairly quiet, no protesters. All we've been seeing is a lot of customers coming in and showing their support. All these windows covered in post-it notes of supportive messages. For Rachel Clemmer, it was a spur of the moment decision. And actually, we were headed home, and I noticed my sticky notes on the top of my car, and I said, I want to go leave a message. A lot of people came up and asked if they could leave one too. The notes have now spread across the shuttered shop's windows. Sherry Burris drove with her daughter up from Clover to run errands. They didn't know Tony's was closed, so Burris posted a supportive message before they left. I just bet that I really support Tony's. They are a landmark here in Gastonia, and we hope that they open up soon. The family who owns Tony's says Gastonia police recommended they close the rest of the week out of precaution. <laughs> The protests were sparked by the arrest of Lydia Robinson, who says she received discriminatory service Monday night. Officer Drew Denton arrested Robinson outside the shop for trespassing. Gastonia police hired Denton in December 2017. Because he has a higher level of education, he was hired as a level three police officer. He's still employed with the department. Robinson and civil rights activist John Barnett, who's advocating on her behalf, say they want to meet with Tony's owners. So that me, Lydia, and the owner of Tony's can sit down at a table of peace. If we can't get peace there at that table, then unfortunately these protesters will probably get peace in their own no way. No justice, no peace. Earlier this week, I spoke to the family who owns Tony's. They say right now they are not going to comment on camera, but they are considering in the future. Live in Gastonia, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte.